cruising through this Carolina nighttime. Completely sober, somehow I'm not in my right mind. Looking for a good laugh and a nice fine. Young lady, but I'm not calling a baby. Hey. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Jason here, back with another episode of Heart and Soul. As you can see, I got my man J Mac, Mac the Third, back again. Um, rapper, producer, videographer, he does all of that. So, you know, you've been on here before. Some people might not have seen the old one. Mm -hmm. So, give him a little introduction. All right. Word. My name is Mac the Third. That's M A C K, three eyes. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just a, a all out grinder. I'm trying to, you know, just use my art as a a, a bridge way to the rest of Word. my talent. So that's pretty much all I do, man. That's what's up, man. So last time we talked to you, you know, you was doing a couple tracks here and there. I think you might have had the Throwback Thursday tape out. Mm -hmm. But um, since then, like, you dropped the more official tape, uh, the scrimmage. That was dope. Uh, yeah, I, I was just looking at it, like I think it's been out for like six or seven months now. Like, yeah, man. Appreciate I, that, I, I thought it was out for like a year. I was like, damn, it seemed like I was so long ago. But yeah, you know, that's dope. Tay, you know, if you want to talk about that a little bit, let them know some of your, you know, the process that went into making it, or you know, stuff like that. Man, really, man. Uh, see, with me doing Throwback Thursday, man, that was just me going in the studio, recording, having fun. You right. know, so. The scrimmage was really my first time actually sitting down like, okay, I'm gonna try and make a, a complete composition Word. of music and let it let it go, let it all flow together. So that was really that's why I feel like that was like my first official step into the game. Yeah, and and then like I let a lot of people know who I am, you know, with uh, For sure, you know, some personal stuff and just some stuff that I know everybody else can relate to. Word. So was that a challenge like coming off of? The throwback Thursday table it was just like tracks that you did or you know just putting them out there and then like trying to have something that comes together it wasn't really a challenge because then again the only the only difference it was was I, I just had to develop a, a storyline okay and not even a storyline it was just like it, re it really wasn't that hard to do you okay. know just because of the fact that I just like to put myself to work you know yeah so yeah that's what's up. So, you know, since it has been a few months since that came up, mm -hmm. um, have you been working on anything else since then? Yeah, yeah. Uh, really, I took a break. You know, I kind of just was trying to get back onto my crowd, trying to develop. So next time I come back, I want to sound totally different. You know? what? So, yeah, that's pretty much all, I, all I've been doing, uh, releasing some beats and stuff, you know, some okay. and some. So, but... um. As far as recording, man, I, I've, I've done a lot of recording. So, well, yeah. <laughs> that's what's up, man. That's what we want to hear. We want to hear the new stuff, man. Yeah, most of. So, like, with um, the scrimmage tape, like, how was it received, in your opinion? Uh, man, a lot of people who hear it, man, they hit me up. You know, I have old classmates and stuff. You know, they hit me up saying they heard it and stuff. So, I get pretty pretty much good feedback. Well, really, the main issue now is just, like, getting it out there to people. You know, the only way people get it now is if they... You know, I send it to them, or if they know somebody, you yeah. show them, or if I show them myself. So you know, but I'm cool with that. So you know, it's just, it's just gonna show the growth because a couple years ago nobody knew I made music. Yeah. So I said I see that. So, you know, I let you do a little plug. You let them know, no, let them know where they can find the scrimmage at. Word, you can find the scrimmage on SoundCloud at Mackie. That's M A C K, Mac with three eyes. All right. Right, and um, I think it's on Dat Piff too, right? Yeah, it actually is on Dat Piff, but I'm having a little trouble with Dat Piff. Oh, right for real? So, okay. Yeah, so I really don't give nobody that link because sometimes it show up and sometimes it don't. Right. So yeah, I think that might have been where I downloaded it from. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. So like, um, you know, I follow all your social media and stuff like that, and I see you got this movement called Grinders Only. You know, so what's what's that all about? Man, it's just like going into the mindset of, you know, just being around people who's just, you know, they got that narrow view. Yeah. You know, they know where they want to be and it really don't matter where they at That's at the moment. Vision. It's just they know that they're going to get here and they're going to do anything to get them there. You yeah. know what I mean? So, you know, that's pretty much all it is, man. Just trying to, you know, 
reach success. Okay. So. Uh, is there anybody else behind you with that, or is it just like you know, just you pushing it? Right now, it's just me pushing it. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, when I first started it, I kind of had a, a group of people who I thought was gonna, you know, be helping me out. But right. now it's really for right now, it's just me pushing it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and like I said in the beginning, you know, rapper, producer, videographer. So you know, we we talked about the music. Mm -hmm. You know, I know you said you was doing some of the beats too, like selling some beats, making beats for yourself. Yeah. So like, what about what, like with the you know with the videography? Videography? Yeah. Man, I've been mostly linking up with uh my classmate from school. Uh, his name KG the artist. Okay. Yeah, you can follow him on all social media, KG the artist, and um, him and uh, Black Elmo. Where? Yeah, you know you can find him on YouTube at Black Elmo channel. Where yeah, shout out to so, Augusta you know. doing the big. Yeah, I've been linking up with them a lot. Oh yeah, and shout out to my nigga AD. You know, <laughs> Def Pro man, that, that dude's a genius man for real. But uh, yeah, man, up. I just been linking up with them and just uh, you know just getting shit out there. You know, so while music not coming out, videos is dropping. So Where? that's really how I see it. I think that's kind of cool that you're doing stuff that's where you're in front of the camera and behind the camera too. Mm -hmm. So that, that way, you know. Whenever you try to do your own stuff, like when you try to do vid uh, visuals for your own stuff, yeah, this makes it that much easier to do it. Yeah, man. It's like, you know, just having the whole... Because it's like, I'm pretty sure nobody, especially with what I'm trying to do, I'm pretty sure nobody wants to just pull the inspiration out of nowhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just kind of, you know, I'm here to give a, a helping hand as far as like the video production because... I, the last thing I want is a video with just a whole bunch of people standing around, like. Well, know, for sure. At least I mean, right now that's cool, but like later, I kind of want to <laughs> develop, you know, a, a, a whole project within the song and the video. Well, that's what's up, man. So, you know, it's it's been a good little minute since the last time you was up. So, like, as far as inspiration or anything like that, anything like that changed with you? Uh, man. I was listening to Big Crit a lot, being on the road, man. Yeah. Big Crit ride, bro. And, <laughs> like, you know, I've, I've kind of been seeing where I pick up some stuff from him. Uh, Big Crit, but other than that, man, pretty much everything else, you know. Right. He was actually same. just out here at uh, Music Farm Word. a couple months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah, I didn't get to go to the show, but I wanted to. I heard it was tight, though. Word. Word. I've been listening to a lot of, you know, just, like, like Producers, you know, like some people, they actually just make beats, just the beats. Okay. Yeah, and I, I um, I ran into somebody named Sango. I'm not quite sure where he's from, but I'm pretty sure he's not from America. <laughs> man, that dude beats dope, though. Yeah, shout out to Sango, though, man. You go in, bro. Uh, what about like personal influences? Like, is anything changed like in your mindset or anything like that that makes you want to do your stuff differently? Yeah, man, uh, just being out here on the road and just seeing the things that people take, you know, it's a certain way you got to carry yourself when you're doing showcases or meeting with anybody, period, because right. it's a point where you get to, okay, you're doing it for fun, but you actually want to try and get, like, treat it like a business, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, get some money from it. So, yeah, I'm just trying to pick up on those tips, you know, right. so that's pretty much it. That's what's up. As far as the music, I feel like we got, you know, everything. Touched on pretty much everything as far as that. Yeah. But, um, you know, we was also talking about your fashion, you know, your fashion sense. When, you know, last time you was up here. Yeah. I know you said you do a lot of thrifting and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, like, you still you still into that? Yeah, man. I still thrift, bro. I tried to stop for a while. You know, I said <laughs> I was going, you know, buy some Supreme or something. Word. But, nah, I just, I just still thrift. Why, why you was going to stop? I don't know. It was just like I was just trying to change, not trying to change, but I was just trying to, you know, trying to get a couple, some more kind of stuff, you know. It wasn't, really, you know, <laughs> no kind of like I was just trying to change everything. It was just, I was just like, hey, I'm going to try something different. I ain't tried it yet. But, well, you know, yeah. I'm going to cop that Supreme soon, man. Man, like, yeah, Supreme, man, it's, it's hard to cop. Yeah, it really Like, is, I got bro. one Supreme T and. I ain't gonna lie. At first, like I, I tried to get it because of all the hype around it, and I wanted yeah. to see what all the hype was about. And then, like I paid like seventy five dollars for a t shirt, uh -huh. 
But like when I got the shirt, I was like, yo, like the quality on it is dope and everything. So it's, it was worth that to me. Yeah, it, it's totally and like, worth you know, it. If I get some more Supreme now, it's because of the quality of the clothes. Like it's not because of all the hype and everybody that's that's wearing it and stuff like that. Yeah, man. Because, man, as soon as something drop on Supreme, is gone, man. Especially if it has like any kind of branding on it. Yeah. Any kind of Supreme branding on it, the box logo or anything, like it's, it's gone. Dumb J's. Psh, gone. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know, it's funny though, because like, um, I saw the Jordan 5 Supremes, um, I saw all three of them at the sneaker con in Charlotte, mm -hmm. and like, the only ones that I really liked was the camo ones. Yeah. But like, when I saw the pictures, the one, only ones I really liked was the black suede ones. Because like, you know, if you, if you watch my, if you watch my show, then mm -hmm. you know, the black suede five, my favorite sneakers of all time. So seeing that with the little Supreme logo on there with the red flames, it was pretty tight. But I don't know, they ain't they didn't look as good to me in person. Yeah, I feel I feel yeah. what you're saying. I think you had said that on the last video, the black suede fives. You had said that was your favorite shoe. Yeah, on the last yeah. Video, so yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I ain't I never been to a thrift store, so you know if you want, we can go ahead. Check out Ooh. some thrift stores out here, see what we can find. Yeah, man, we definitely got to do that, bro. Cause I seen a, a few good ones out there, so. Well, sure. yeah, I, I haven't been to any. You know, like I said, I cop all my stuff online. Um, so yeah, we could definitely go ahead and do that, man. Check right. that out. Yeah. So, yeah, Palmetto thrift store, man. We about to go in and try and find some. You know, we'll find some good, man. Uh, out here in Columbia, South Carolina. Keep it. Know where that? Shit. Stop by some shit. After you. Shit, we got it from here. Hey. God damn. Damn. And I'm back on my shit. I be on the money like so I don't write shit. I go to the mall, I don't even buy shit. Who used to listen to Soldier Boy? Yo, and make a very nice flipping. Now we in the lobby acting like we kamikaze. Heard I made the beat and now they treat me like a Rocky. I prefer the Spanish when she treat me like a poppy. But tonight I got Bermuda and she treat me with that slop. I'm that nigga everybody try to copy. What we tell them when these bitches say they got me. I'm the man. Baby, I'm the man, hey. Hey, hey. Any cakes you wanna call? Hey. I'm the man, uh, baby, it. I'm the man, hey. 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 You're right, hold it. Got you. Okay, you got you. Fuck the club up. Every time we go, nigga, we just yeah. fuck the club. Fuck the club up, a lot of niggas talking shit I don't really give a fuck Cause I've been on the grind for a long time I've been trying to shine for a long time Why these niggas hating on their own kind I'm just trying to elevate my own mind hey. And they say I'm on some other shit I've been shooting strippers in the club and shit why these bitches always on some cuddle shit? Told her I'm a boss, calling plays in the huddle shit. I'm about to take off on these niggas cause they too soft. I don't give a fuck what you think. Take my cup, fill it up with the drink, bitch. I'm the man, baby, I'm the man.
certified. You got ten minutes to go.